Okay, so we talked about what made Dent so great. Okay, he has ex tremendous explosiveness. He had a great system with the 46. He had physical talents. He had the ability to vanish. Okay, number four. But he also had some other stuff going on. Watch this. You have Dent out there who's sacking quarterbacks. And maybe he's making, let's say, $450,000. I don't know. But all of a sudden, there's this ball player in here, number 72. They call him Fridge. Came into camp overweight. Couldn't practice because of heat exhaustion. Was called a big bust. Wasn't considered serious. He smiles. Runs the football. And now he's getting paid millions of dollars. And America loves him. You don't think that impacts the way he plays over here? He's busting it on every play. He's doing everything he needs to do. He knows he's the trigger point of the entire defense. And he watched this kid not even come to camp, not even come in shape. They told Bridge to sit there and go to camp and stay in a summer camp. Bridge just said, find me. I'm not staying in summer camp. I'm going to stay wherever I want to stay. He got fined his money. He was getting fined for being overweight. McDonald's was paying him half a million dollars to stay over 400 pounds. All this was going on. All this sort of hype and, and success and press and video. And Dan had to watch that. Let me tell you something. By the time he got to the Super Bowl, he was a different person. He knew this game was a game where he had to leave his mark. Otherwise, he was going to sit there and be made invisible by this character that wasn't even really a great ball player. But we loved him. I loved him. It started out a, a lifelong friendship. But the point is, on the business terms, that's got to be something that gets underneath your skin of one of the greatest ball players ever. And trust me, it did. I'll tell you more about this defense in just a minute. Okay, because now you've got to go into what was going on with McMichael.